Good morning, you're watching FloorDaily.net. We're at Surfaces 2020, and I'm in the Mannington space, and it looks like we've got a big crowd here. And I'm with Zach Zayner, the president of the residential business, and with Terry Marchetta, the director of design. How are you guys doing? Good morning, Kemp. How, how are you? Thanks for having us. Look, looking forward to talking about what, talking to the audience about what you guys are doing. Let's start out with this. So, obviously, about four years ago, you had a hundredth birthday. You're a privately held company, and you guys are like the Energizer Bunny. You just won't stop. You you just acquired, or I guess at midnight uh, Friday, you will right. acquire Phoenix and Far Yarns, and uh, that puts you. I can say this: you won't because you're a privately held company, but that puts you in the big four, I'd say, at you know, probably well over a billion dollars. So congratulations on that. Well, thank you, Kevin. It's an exciting time at Mannington for sure. We have been at this for 104 years, and uh, one of the ways that we've stayed healthy and growing is to continue to invest. Uh, the Campbell family is dedicated to that, right? For the next generation, that's what we're constantly looking at. What do we need to do to, to stay healthy and successful into the next generation? We're coming off a record run of unprecedented investment for us. You mentioned uh, the Phoenix acquisition, and we'll touch on that in a minute. Really exciting, yeah. right? Little do we know we'd be in the residential carpet business, but yeah. uh, it's you an are. exciting move, and it makes sense. But uh, beyond that, we uh, also have been investing in our capital uh, plants and our manufacturing facilities. Uh, we, we put a new rubber plant in Calhoun, Georgia, and, right. and product is coming off that line and, and hitting the marketplace. Yeah, which is an add-on to that Burke acquisition you That's did right. 10 years ago. That's yeah. right, 2008. Yeah. yeah. And in 2012, we purchased Amtico and then almost quadrupled the size of their U.S. facility yeah. uh, and have been driving out uh, glue-down product from that facility for a number of years. And recently, uh, finished product is coming off the line and hitting the marketplace of our new rigid core plant, which is capable of making both WPC and SPC. You follow that with the acquisition of uh, Phoenix, Phoenix. Uh, like you said, is going to close at the end of the show. Yeah. Uh, and we're going to have a really strong portfolio supported by domestic manufacturing here in the States. We're really yeah. excited about where we are. And you're in all surface categories with the exception of ceramic tile, right? That is right. Yeah. We've been in and out of that business over yeah, the years, know. so yeah. we know we know enough to, to never say never. Uh -huh. uh, but we really uh, feel like we're in a good place as far as the portfolio. Yeah, and one last question. Just uh, Most people know 19 was a little softer than we thought it was going to be at the beginning of the year. How would you guys do? Yeah, we saw some of that softness in the second half. Yeah. Uh, talking to a lot of our customers, we were sharing in some of that. But we're seeing the pipeline really fill back up. You're seeing the interest rate moves that the Fed made throughout the year are starting to really generate some activity, both in single home construction as well as existing homes. We're starting to see that bubble. Yeah. And uh, our dealers and customers are, see are seeing good activity, and we're starting to feel it too. So it's great. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. You know, yesterday I spent some time with the NFA, a lot of guys that are, uh, I guess, experts in their business, and they're saying January is looking good. So yeah, it is. Yes, yeah. We're off to a great start. That's good to hear. And then obviously we're always excited to get the year off uh, going here at the show. Our booth is packed. Yeah. Uh, and we are driving out really the most comprehensive LVT launch we've ever done. Yeah. Uh, last year, we put a big focus on driving out a unique way to approach the LVT category, the Adura selling solution. It's an old carpet idea where you show a single product or single color and design, and we offer it in three constructions, WPC, SPC, and glue down. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to be able to enhance that with U.S. made versions of those products. But that's a big focus of what we're pushing here, is, and that's our flagship. So you see a yeah. massive launch for that. And uh, I'll let Terry tell you more, but we're, uh, we're pushing a premium LVT with our Apex collection. We have a couple of new innovations that we're really excited about. We have customers stopping, we have competitors stopping and feeling the product, which is always a great sign. Uh, so it's a big, big launch. And then we're also driving out a new SBC collection, which is tied together with a new stair tread technology. Okay. So we are really pushing, pushing the boundaries and investing heavily in, in LVT. And then, of course, uh, new launches in our engineered wood. We're, we're driving out a premium product, yeah. really helping our dealers drive that category up, uh, be more profitable in the wood category. New technology in laminate and new introductions in sheet. 
as well as rolling out a new digital platform. So we've been busy, Sounds like eager it. for 2020 to yep. start, and uh, we're really excited. Okay. Terry, come over and tell us a little bit more about it. I need, to, I need to point out that this time last year, you were just stepping in the lead role for design. Joe Amata had retired, and now you've been doing this as the leader for, a, for a, over a year. So up, update what's going on with us. Well, we're super excited about everything this year. I kind of can't really put my finger on one thing I like. I love everything. I said I think our styling department did a wonderful job of really focusing in on the right looks that connect with the trends, especially in color and design. Um, so as you look around the booth, you're going to find a few features that are completely different. Um, first, we minimized all the graphics. We consciously taken out knot holes, imperfections, um, very graphic details to create beautiful, almost backdrop looks that um, allow the consumer to feature her own personal style. We're minimizing the use of gray. We felt we had a lot too much gray within the palette, so we, we infuse our patterns with yellows and orange to make it more clean and bright and fresh. And also, as you look around, you're going to see we're, we're putting innovation back into the equation. When you look in each category, there's going to be new shapes, new sizes, and innovations, not only that pushes realism, but pushes and helps with the installation process. Um, for instance, if you look in our hardwood category, we have a new product called Park City. It's absolutely beautiful. It um, is a sawn faced European white oak that's completely in trend, completely minimal. It has filled knots, it has a very smooth surface texture. It comes in a long, wide format, a seven and a half by seven foot long, as well as a new size for us, a herringbone option, to give the consumer that option to customize your look. You look into our restoration collection, we have a product called Anthology that's not only minimal, but it pushes realism. What's special about it, it uses three types of wood, oak, maple, and hickory, in an 8 by 51 inch plank format, but what's special is that it's digitally printed. Typically in a laminate pattern, you'd have 10 planks. With Anthology, you have 20, giving you 50 square feet before you see a repeat. So not only it looks like wood, it has the performance aspect that you expect from laminate. And then moving to our Apex, that's gonna really knock your socks off. I mean, we're really pushing fashion forward graphics and we're pushing innovation. A lot of the products that you see are gonna be digitally printed, which is completely new for us. As Let me point out, that's LVT, right? That's LVT. Um, not only are we digitally printing, we're digitally en enhancing it by digitally printing the embossing, give it a realistic look. So we have two patterns there that I have to talk about. And this is cutting edge technology, this right? This is cutting edge for us, something completely different. Um, Henna, and henna weave are two concepts that are meant to coordinate in pattern, color, and texture. If you look at henna by itself, it's a collage of the most beautiful, inspired, and caustic tile looks, where henna weave is a textural, textile kind of um, color carrier that grounds the two together, um, allowing this to work together. It, it's 12 by 24s, they're digitally printed, they're digitally enhanced, and they look and feel like fabric, but the real story is the coordination. Um, it, gives the consumer unbelievable amount of options to customize her interior. She can install as a herringbone, basket weave, ashlar, she can straight step to make um, carpet concepts, or she can transition rooms with the weave as well as the decorative. There's, there's another pattern. I mean, we have so many really innovative patterns. We can talk products I can, I can, <laughs> We can talk for hours, but I know you have a short, uh, we have a short window. We're, um, we also created a 12-inch hexagon that mimics porcelain. Now, in porcelain, installation is a little tough, right? It's time-consuming, and in a, a, a format such as a hex, you have to use spacers around the perimeter. What we've done is we've taken an SPC product and we routed the perimeter, allowing for one sixteenth edge. So when you glue it down and you butt it up against another tile, you get a perfect eight eighth inch void that allows you to grab. So it cuts your installation time from days to hours. So we think that's really cool. Now I could talk about Apex all day, but we also have one more product category, which is our sheet vinyl, which honestly, it's had a renaissance of, as of- It's what you started with, right? That's right, we, we built the company. We built the company on it, but because pattern is so important in every aspect of design, we're getting calls on a daily basis, which is very surprising, asking us for new colors, new shapes, new sizes. 
actually, we added two new colors, one to Penny Lane this year, one to Deco that have been around for a while. People just love those shapes and sizes. And we're adding one more pattern called Miramar. That's a large scale diamond pattern that incorporates crayer and marble with uh, rectified grout lines, a hone texture, and beautiful color play that kind of gives you that elegant variety, but at that value price point. So, so you've been busy. Yeah, do you have any more ideas? <laughs> And we're getting good ideas yeah. at the show. We, we always do. So the consumer wants a cleaner look is what you're telling me. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in the past, the, the home, especially in Florida, was dark, heavy, aggressive textures, um, deep staining. Now it's all about minimalization and creating that almost nondescript backdrop to just allow the consumer to express her style. All right, guys, thanks for the update on what's been going on. Absolutely, like I say, yeah. you've been really busy. Again, we've been talking to Terry Marchetta and Zach Zayner here in the Mannington space at Surfaces, and you've been watching Kemp Har and FloridaLA.net.